Welcome to Risk Forever channel guys. To the channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your rank in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And today we are playing 4 player fixed cards game on the brand new map called Earth 2209 AD. The world even got more complicated in the future and here is the result of it. Classic Risk map has been expanded to even more complicated and detailed map of the world. Big, 86 territories map with many places to attack to. This map has even 11 different regions, Western Arctic, North America, South America, Northern Europe, Mainland Europe, North Africa, South Africa, Russia, Western Asia, and Oceania. The troop bonuses, of holding regions of this map, are relatively big, starting from 4, and ending to 9. So holding regions on this map is very important. In both, fixed and progressive cards games. Players, who have some continents in this map, have a big advantage over those who don't. I guess it would be very hard to win without having any continent at all when it comes to his map. Anyway, this is my first time playing on this map. I'm playing it with fixed cards, balance blitz dice rolls and 60 seconds per turn. Alliances are disabled in this game. I'm playing against one novice rank player who is yellow, against one beginner rank player who is green, and one intermediate rank player who is blue. I'm the red player in this game called Champion Ever. The one who is region greedy and trying to expand as fast as he can. And this is how my current strategy sounds. I want to overcome my opponents by the number of troops by getting more and more land to become the dominating player. I want to become so strong that I would have more troops than all of these three players combined. And to be honest I'm very amazed that these players are letting me hold all of it. Usually low rank players are very aggressive and try to invade any player they have ability to. But I mean I'm being friendly as well, currently letting others hold all the stuff they have as well. Well. As long as I'm the player who gets the most troops, that is totally fine with me. And oh no, come on man, come on blue. How even dare you to invade me? I was hoping that all of you will be dumb enough to hold all of this stuff, when suddenly you decided to invade me. Well you know what blue, you know what? If you want to fight, then I will fight you. You asked for it. By being the strongest player I don't really have anything to lose by it. Well you just captured a region and not that even strong. To be honest I didn't expect to be invaded by the blue player guys, I thought that he will continue capturing the rest of Africa but I was wrong. I was more suspicious about the green player, because he was the second strongest after me, and this is why I left my 15 troops army near to him, to discourage him of possibly attacking me, showing that if he attacks me, then this army will be used against him. And wow guys. I totally screwed up right now. I thought that Ukraine and Iran territories are connected between each other. But to my surprise they aren't. I was about to invade blue with that 15 troops army. But wow, since I screwed up, the blue player got many troops again, so currently he is invading all of my regions with no problem at all. Rest in peace me. I cannot afford fighting with the blue player anymore, because if we still will, then the green player take over this game so easily. Also let's not forget that the blue player most likely has a set, having 4 cards, so I would really like that our conflict become ended. We can become very good friends again blue, right? And omg, thank you yellow, thanks for invading blue. The blue player was so into attacking me. But since you invaded him, he might change his mind, and possibly attack you instead. But who knows? We will see about that. Maybe the blue player still isn't very happy about me at all. Well, he just sent me an attack request to attack green. So I think that he want to end the conflict between me and him as well. As we both know that if we will continue fighting, then the game become over for both of us. As the green player would take over the game even faster than we can even imagine. The balance of the game is very important in fixed cards games. You don't want that one of the players would become too strong. If that player has more troops than all of his opponents combined, 
then the game becomes ended. Well, unless that player isn't smart enough to realize that he could swipe everyone out in a pretty much single turn, and is letting others to regain that they lost crushing each other, by still letting them hold continents. So I'm glad that the conflict between me and Blue became ended. I especially recaptured only one region, as I don't want to bring his attention again. Because I'm pretty sure that if I recapture all of the stuff I had, then he most likely would attack me again. I would rather hold only one or two regions, but at least I will hold something. It's the turn of Blue again, so let's see what is he up to, what is he going to do. Alright, I'm not that sure so far. Wow. He is attacking Green. That is so good. When he sent me an attack request to attack the green player he was for real. Wow. I thought that he just wanted that the conflict between me and green would become started. That I and green would crush each other troops, while he could hold his regions watching the world burn. But apparently he was so real about attacking green, wow, that is so good for me. It increases my chances to become the dominating player soon by a lot. The blue player destroyed himself so much. Only territories of ones of him left. That was pretty much kamikaze attack. I don't know what he was thinking, because he just ended the game for himself. He will be taken out for his cards for sure. Let's take him out guys. Wow, I forgot these territories aren't connected. Alright, let's split the army. Wow. I just locked my other troops as well. Just wow, I cannot believe myself guys. I'm so stupid. Stupid, very stupid Grandmaster. But on the other hand this is my first time playing. But still, I messed up so badly. One of the players will get to take the blue player so easily. And oh no, it seems that it will be green. He will be lucky by not only getting 7 troops by holding Russia and 9 troops for Eastern Asia, but he will get 4 cards by taking the blue player out as well. I think me with yellow are totally screwed, we will be so dead, the green player will invade all of our continents and we won't be able to do anything about that. Wow guys. I don't want to see me losing. Something bad about to happen. I'm about to get crushed. Wait. Do you want to say that he isn't attacking me? Wow, I cannot believe that. Well, I'm not being so nice like he was to me. I'm crushing him as much as I can. And I will take the advantage over him. I mean it should have been obvious, of whoever attacks other first, will take the advantage over other one. Why would I let Green hold all of these continents? The best strategy was to invade him now, before he invaded me first. And look guys, the yellow player added his troops to block territory, la la la. These two territories aren't connected with each other. At first I thought that they are connected as well, but actually they aren't. So when you guys play on this map, make sure to zoom in to see whether the territory you want to attack from, is connected with territory you want to attack to. Otherwise you can end up in the situation the yellow player is currently right now or like me a few turns before, when I was struggling to deal with the blue player. In other words be very careful. And omg guys, the yellow player is helping green to deal with me. That's really bad for me. I trusted and didn't attack yellow into his continent. I thought he will stay neutral, attacking like one territory per turn, or maybe trying to capture either Oceania, or one of the Africas. I'm so sad right now guys, I probably won't easily win like I thought at first. But I mean that's good for the game that he attacked me, as currently I'm the player who has the most troops. I realized I was so stupid that I didn't attack the yellow player before. Cause if I had attacked him then I would have had even more advantage by now. Why I was letting him get those 7 extra troops by holding South America I don't know. That was really dumb. And wow, I really like the unfortunate blitz roll the yellow player got, he lost 14 troops by attacking 9 of mine. That's really nice. He didn't capture many territories at all. And why did he fortify his 16 troops army from one blocked territory to another blocked one, la la la. What can I say more? I love novices. Well, not always though. 
Sometimes I hate them when they decide to go after me for no reason. But it can be very fun to play with them for sure. LOL, the yellow player just added his troops to the block territory. I think he doesn't realize that his 19 troops territory isn't connected with 19 troops territory of mine. But why did he still keep that army blocked, lolalol. And wow, the green player didn't even attack me into all of my continents. I think he is completely done with this game. Yeah, he just went inactive. Well, since the yellow player is still in the game and the green player left. I will show some appreciation for yellow by taking the green player who is currently bought firstly. The biggest mistake of these players, is that they didn't realize that even though I wasn't able to hold continents, I was still getting a lot of troops by having a lot of territories. Because you know guys the more territories you have, the more troops you get, and the less territories your opponents have, the less troops they get. The green player was smart to invade my continents, but he probably didn't know anything about territory bonuses. The yellow player wasn't smart to capture as many territories of mine as possible as well. I'm not even talking about multiple times when he blocked his army. He seems to be a total novice, brand new to the game, but he will eventually improve with more and more practice playing. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Risk, smash that thumbs up button if so, and also subscribe if you haven't already because I will be exploring even more of the maps, and also sharing even more tips and tricks on how to win at Risk as always.